I feel a fair bit of pressure to conform as a trans woman, to conform to um, appearing and acting like a cis woman. And um, I don't agree with that. Um, I'm quite proud to be a trans woman. Um, it carries with it its own challenges, but it also carries with it a lot of pride. I feel as though that there isn't for me personally. I'm not sure. I think there's an expectation that I do because I look like I'm in a heterosexual relationship, even though I'm totally not. Oh no, I never noticed any pressure as a child, but that's because, you know, I didn't really notice anything. So, I presume there's less, but I notice it more. I think now, um, you know, I'm 21, I think I, like in my, per in my heart, I think I feel a lot less pressure to conform to those things, but I don't know if, I think that might be more to do with me becoming more comfortable with who I am. There's less pressure for me personally, um, but I know that there's definitely some communities that are finding more strength to apply more pressure against people. Um, so yeah, it definitely depends on where you are and who you deal with. Um, I think there's less pressure because there's more um, more acceptance, which is a funny answer because sometimes I think the opposite, you know, it depends a lot where you are. But I still think that in areas like particularly the workplace, there's a bit more pressure to, not necessarily to be cishet, but to tone down very loud expressions of queerness. Um, and I still struggle with that quite a bit. Um, and I try to tone everything a lot of who I am and how I present down when I'm in the workplace. So. Less, I would say. Um, certainly when I was a kid, there was a very rigid idea of what boys did and what girls did. And even when I was very young, I didn't really fit. Boys played rugby, girls, girls you know, did netball or did dancing or something like that. Boys didn't do those sorts of things. But I did. Yeah, even the concept of, of cisgender is a thing people didn't even think about. Uh, so, yeah, you either were male or female. Like, the fact that we have words now to actually express this means it must be getting easier. Uh, and again, I grew up in a country area in WA. It was very ladies bring a plate. And, you know, everyone had very, very strict gender roles. So obviously, yeah, easier now. Being a bisexual woman, I feel a bit of pressure to look more queer sometimes just so that people people know like um, I'm worried that I look too straight sometimes and maybe that that's a, a product of me trying for so many years to be super feminine to be desired by men um, and kind of looking at things through like a male gaze um, and now that I'm now that I'm embracing being bisexual and looking at more things through a female gaze, looking at more like queer media, I'm getting to see all of the amazing things that I can do and be when I'm not trying to be a super cis head. <laughs>